Hey, what's up? What's going on? It's your girl, Mary Jane. Please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peace, my peoples. And I would like to say thank you to everyone that shares my video, comment, subscribe, and like. I, I do appreciate it for real, for real. So let's talk Basketball Wives, the finale. <laughs> Season 6, episode 6, the finale. O-N-G. What can, what must I say? Okay. Things I really didn't like um, with Evelyn. <laughs> Guess who I started off with. Some of the things I just really didn't like was just that, you know, she wanted Tammy to take a side and how she tried to, you know, force her opinion and her thought on everybody else. Like, she wanted everyone to agree with her. And if they didn't agree with her, she was Team Jackie or they were delusional or they were enablers. And I don't think that's the right attitude to have or the right way to go, especially if you was on Fix My Life and you was on the Oprah Winfrey show or network, you know, or the own network. It's like, you know, where's Tammy? I think Jack, I think Tammy um, chose size. And then Shawnee's like, yeah, I think she's drinking a Kool-Aid. And that's like just so disrespectful. Like we're grown women. Why can't we have our own opinion? Why can't they have their own opinion? If they choose to be friends with Jackie. They can be friends with Jackie and be with you. Why do you, why do we have to choose sides? It doesn't matter. Just keep it 100. And it's like, you know, Evelyn, if you felt like having, having you know, Sakari's book and having a, a, an advanced copy of her book was all good, and you felt like it was all good because it was all good between you, Shawnee, and Jennifer, and you was, like, telling them, but you didn't want to tell anybody else, why, why not? Because it seems like that you was embarrassed or you knew you was wrong, or you knew it was shady, and you didn't want to um, hear what other people had to say about it, so you chose the people that would agree with you, that is Team Evelyn. So in, so in my opinion, I don't like that. I don't like that you want people to choose your side and be on your side. And then the whole fact that, you know, you said I just got Takari's book, it was 203 pages, oh my goodness. And, you know, when you was at the dinner with, you know, Shawnee, Hazel, and Jennifer, and you was like, I, and then, you know, Jennifer laughs, and she was like, oh, make sure you send me an event, make sure you forward it over to me, and Jennifer was like, I'm going to get it, and then you guys were talking about how you, how bad Jackie is, and you was like, you know, um, just making fun of the whole situation, not showing that you really care about the situation, not showing that you care about Takari, not showing that you care about Takari's brothers and sisters and the grandbaby and also Doug because, number one, when you're coming after Jackie and you're supporting this book, the book is already out, supporting this book on the show, and this all you're talking about is this book and Takari and how bad of a mother Jackie is by reading some of the um, pages out of the book, you're disrespecting Doug and you're disrespecting Jackie's other children. So what kind of mother that loves children and love kids and think that she's the greatest mother in the world will go and hurt other children because now you're hurting Jackie's other children as well because you don't know how Jackie's son feels about Jackie. You don't know how her other daughter feels. So it's like if you do care about how important family is and how important in raising kids and how important motherhood is, why would you interfere with Jackie's motherhood and interfere with her other kids? Because what you're doing is going to hurt them too as well because Jackie is their mother and you're talking about their mother and you're disrespecting their mother and you feel like you were disrespected by Jackie and Jackie disrespected your daughter but now you're disrespecting Jackie and all her children and her husband, a husband that she has that you don't have. You've been engaged for 10 years, girlfriend. And it's just like, it's just sad that you're not thinking about the consequences of your behaviors. Only thing that you're thinking about is ratings, getting promotion, and picking a bone with Jackie because Jackie pissed you off with the comment that she said that she heard about your daughter being a builder whore. So to go at Jackie and make sure you so to make sure you win, you, but you're bringing the other children involved and the grandchildren involved because Jackie got more than one grandchild. She, I believe she has four or five. So now you're bringing them in that situation and you're bringing our husband in. So to me, it shows that you you have lack of empathy for children when you say that you're the greatest mom and you care about kids. And if you really did care about Takari, you'll be getting Takari help. You would try to have an intervention on the show because you got money. You and, you know, Shawnee got money. You can, instead of, if, you, if your whole storyline was going to be Jackie and Takari and Takari's book, bring 
um, fix my life on the show so she can come on the show and work with Jackie and her daughter or show her daughter getting counseling, getting help with the situation. Because right now, just like, you know, um, Malaysia said, you're only highlighting the problem. You're adding to the problem. You're not helping. Only thing you're helping is putting money in Sakari's pocket, which is good. But I would just, I just like with my my other opinion. I believe that you know Evelyn and Sakari talked when she got that thirty five hundred dollars. Evelyn knows that she doesn't have a storyline. She's not interesting. She's not popping. Everybody forgot about her. So who to come after? First, come after Tammy. And, you know, let it be. And then come after Jackie. Bake Jackie into it. Bake Jackie into hating you. Jackie's easy to bait. Jackie's easy to get into an argument with. It's nothing. So you baited her. And then from there, it seems like, you know, it, it just took off with the book and Takari. Granted, Jackie did do some bad things. Granted, Jackie was wrong. But you're taking this to a whole new level and you're poking fun and making fun of Jackie and her family and her daughter because you and Jennifer sat at that table and laughed about it and Shawnee talked about the book. Oh, how sad, how awful it is for, you know, Takari. And then the next minute, Jennifer's like, hey, where the motherfuck is the bottle at? And then, you know, Hazel is like, Shawnee, eat this. Oyster. And then Jennifer's like, you know you can swallow. You know you like to swallow. Then then the next moment is back to Jackie's daughter. Like, all of you guys' storyline is Jackie's daughter. Only person is trying not to be Jackie's, have their storyline based on Jackie's daughter is Tammy and Malaysia. Even Hazel jumped in was like, you know, my sister and my mother have the same problem. So I totally understand. And then it was like you kept mounting in Jack and in Heavenly's head, head that Jackie's no good. Jackie's this. Jackie's that. Like you want people to just believe in what you think and what you say. And if anybody goes against what you believe or what you think is right, they are a problem. And so I don't like that. <laughs> that was wrong. That was dead up wrong. So anyways... So then Hazel starts talking about, you know, how, you know, her and her, her mother and her sister don't get along at all. Like they have a very bad relationship and all that other good stuff. And then Evelyn goes into, oh, have you seen, Jackie has not seen her child. Have you seen the pictures of Cha Jackie's grandbaby? I, you know, and it's just like, okay, when are you going to give it a rest? I mean, like this is going on like four episodes. You talking about Takaria book and her, and, and, and her child. And it's like, you know. For people to give something, then you goes, um, Jackie's ungrateful. I gave her child thirty five hundred dollars. Nobody asked you to. That's what makes me think that it was a, a ploy and a plot that you were gonna use eventually if your IBM or your IBF shit didn't pop off or your daughter you and your daughter wasn't interesting enough that the next line was gonna be Jackie because first it was BJ. Jackie disrespected BJ. Jackie talked about Shania, but now we don't even see BJ. BJ don't even BJ's a non factor right now. Shania's a non factor. So you use all these ploys and these plots to get towards Jackie, to aggravate Jackie, to come after Jackie, then Jackie boom. Jackie you we all know Jackie's gonna put her foot in her mouth and she did. And she said your daughter was a builder whore, and then you took that and you and it gave you the opportunity to work along with Takari to promote her book and read the book on air. You don't need to talk to Takari on the phone. You don't need to be phone boning Takari when you're giving her the mo the biggest platform ever is to be on VH1, um, Basketball Wives, and read some of the book on <laughs> on on the show. And talk about the book and promote in the book. Like Jackie said, I hope my daughter makes a million dollars. It'll help her support her kids. Shit, I mean shady, like low down shady. And it's a shame because the other kids are being dragged into the situation which you're not considering, which no one's considering is the other children that are involved. It's not just the Takari and Jackie at all. And, and it's not just Jack, it's also Doug as well. So you're bringing everybody down. And you don't know what type of dynamics that you're causing with the other kids and their home life. But you don't care because all you care about is having a plot and a storyline. Because you're not getting married. You're not having a baby. BJ's not there for you to argue for her. Shania's not there anymore. So what, what is there left for you to do? 
And after all these episodes, you know, Shawnee finally brings up, oh, what's going on with your IBM or your IBF? IBM, I think that's the computer. So anyways, so then, you know, you pass the picture around of Jackie's grandson being burnt to, you know, Hazel and to Jennifer showing everybody like, like, like he, like it's some type of animal. Like this is display. Like, let me show you this. So you can so you can win over Hazel and have and have Jennifer Moore up your butt and so um is Shawnee but Shawnee's down with this too as well because Shawnee doesn't have no storyline she has no purpose for this show she has no purpose to be on the show but you know what her purpose is now to help you bring down Jackie and her family granted Jackie might have did some things granted Jackie probably was wrong granted maybe some of the stuff in the book is true but we don't know if all that stuff in the book is true you haven't did any investigation to find out if any if any and everything in that book was true you haven't had them both in the room to talk about it so basically you're just going with one side of a story there's always two sides to the story and the truth and basically you signed some type of deal with Takari because the way you promote Takari on this show so I'm telling you, you're getting paid off of it. You're getting paid by basketball wives. And I don't know if you got a, a, a backhand deal with the situation, but you're doing too much. And it's just wrong because you're bringing down other people. So anyways, you're passing around the picture of Jackie's grandson or whatever, like mocking. If that was you on the, on the other feet, you wouldn't like it. Nobody at that table would like it. Nobody would like it. So anyways... And so, you know, then Hazel, she eats off this um, storyline. She starts to cry. Oh, my God, I can't believe this. This is so terrible. This is so awful. I'm just crying. It's like then Jennifer starts to cry. And then Evelyn starts to water. Then Shawnee starts to water. Then boom, it's back to normal. I mean, just eating off of Takari and Jackie. Like, damn, son. Come on. So anyways, and then... um. <laughs> Oh, and then he, the, the nerve of Hazel, and I thought Hazel was doing something right by staying neutral. She starts to cry and make up like, oh, my God, this is so horrendous. My daughter is two years old. Oh, you've been knowing about this story. You chill with Jackie or whatever. And all of a sudden, now you're around these women. I know you got to eat, too, and you didn't make it on um, housewife, Real Housewives of Atlanta. So you're trying to make it on basketball wise, but you shouldn't do it at the expense of other people so anyways moving on so um it's just and so and so jennifer's like you know jenna was like i want i want some of that book you know i want to i want i want i want the book i want to get a part of that book send me it forward me a copy or whatever and jenna and then you know the next day that so then the next day we get a scene with Evelyn. She's on the beach. She goes, I love Miami. Miami's beautiful. I'm just drinking my coffee. She was like, Miami's the most beautiful place in the world. This is the greatest place to see the water. And you can sit on the beach and read a good juicy book. A good juicy book. That sounds like you are just, tr you don't care about what happened to Sakari. You don't care about what happened to her grandson. This is just a ploy in the plot line for you. Juicy. It's a sad book. It's a depressing book. You know, especially if you don't got all the truth and you don't know what's going on, you will be wanting to get that girl help, her family help, find out what's really going on. But no, I'm going to sit here on the beach with my coffee and I'm going to enjoy this juicy, juicy book. Come on, who says that about somebody's nightmare? If 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 anything in, in that book that Takari said is true, who says this juicy book and, and bring light unto it? You don't care. It's a ploy and it's a plot line for you to use and you're using it. You're exploiting Jackie's daughter, her granddaughter and Jackie. They, you guys are already being exploited by VH1, but you're taking it a step farther, Evelyn. And then Shawnee sitting next to you like, mm, what else does the book say, Eaton? And Jennifer sitting there. Eating Jennifer was like, oh my God, I got the book. I even highlighted some of the things in the book. How you get the book that fast? That's crimey. But you know what? You can buy any book that you want, but the way that you guys are expressing how you're reading the book and sharing it, like it's just like a running joke. Like you don't really care. Then he, here goes Jennifer. I had to stop reading when she said that she wanted to, she wrote her first suicide letter. Oh my God. And then here goes Evelyn. Oh my God, Jackie made her drink um eight ounces of vinegar every day and she called her retarded and said why are you chewing so loud why are you eating so much and it's like just reading promoting the book that's good for takari 
but it's not good for Jackie and her family, but it shows that you are, you, you don't have any compassion for the situation. You don't care about the situation. This is for you to get back at Jackie and you're going to use any and everybody and everybody's expense to make sure you get at Jackie for the situation, which is wrong, which is just downright dirty. Let me stop because I'm going to keep going preaching. So anyways, they felt so and they're talking about how terrible it is for Takari and all this other stuff that they're saying, which, you know, we don't know Takari's childhood. You know, we don't know it. We don't know the truth unless we have both parties on and they both talk and they have some type of uh, intervention or a counselor there to talk and get things done or don't talk about it at all. Because it's not good publicity. It's not. Because it's not helping anybody. It's only helping the cast members and Sakari. So anyways, um, and there was like, oh, ja and then, you know, Evelyn was, oh, my God. You know, Jennifer was like, you know, um, my mom has turned all, my whole family against me. That Takari said in the book that, you know, Jackie has turned all her family members against her and she had turned her grandmother against um takari and takari was like my grandmother is the only person that loved me my grand my grandmother is the only person that did this for me did that for me and it's just like you're profiting off of this because you have what else are, what else are you guys going to talk about on the beach what else would you guys going to do on the beach nothing because evelyn says a juicy book she she had a coffee ready for you guys to come so evelyn if you and jackie didn't get into it what would be your storyline Jennifer, what would be your storyline if Evelyn didn't have beef with Jackie? Let's think about that. Let's say if Evelyn and Jackie did not get into it, what would Evelyn be talking about? Oh, wait. Nothing. But pure air. So anyways, so they're having a great old time chilling, laughing, and talking about Takari's book. No sympathy no nothing about the no nothing and then they and then you know these ladies could really put the waterworks on when they want to i just don't like them exploiting the situation for their benefit you know i'm not even saying jackie is a one and jackie's the best person in the world but when people are exploiting a situation just so they can continue to be on tv it's not cool because we just see what this we just seen a lot of exploiting going on recently i did a couple of videos about it and Anything for attention, anything for fame, anything for it. So anyways, moving on. So um Tammy, so Tammy is so Tammy, you know, calls up Shawnee and asks Shawnee to come walking with her or whatever. And Jackie's there because Jackie wants to apologize to Shawnee. So Jackie um apologized to Shawnee or whatever. And then Jackie was, you know, telling Shawnee that she really felt bad. Or she really just couldn't believe that when Shawnee did the interview that Shawnee didn't know who who to believe and she didn't know who was telling the truth and she felt hurt about the situation. And so hold on, I'm missing one point. Um I gotta go back to the table with, you know, Evelyn, Shawnee, Jennifer, and Hazel. Um Evelyn Evelyn says to Hazel that what happened to Jackie's grandson is that he was at a daycare and one of the bo bottle warmers broke or exploded and that's how her son got burnt. So if that happened at a daycare, usually daycares have insurance. Usually daycare has workman's comp insurance. Usually daycares have insurance for when things like, when, if anything does go wrong, anybody that's involved in that daycare, the insurance people will pay for it and also the school district or if it's part of any type of um, school district, because there's a lot of um, after school programs and daycare centers that are affiliated with schools as well. And they're under the school department insurance and stuff like that. So I don't understand why the, the school didn't take care of it, if Jackie didn't take care of it. And $3,500, um, it costs way more than that for his injuries. So who paid the other half? Or was there any? Was there another uh, other half to another um, half to, have to um, pay? Because now it just really kind of doesn't add up. Because if it's a daycare, they have insurance for if a child does get hurt while they are in, you know, the and daycare. Unless it was a home daycare, but usually home daycare has insurance as well. And if they're covered by, you know, like the um, um 
Children's Services or the state or whatever help fill, um, puts in the bill too as well for the insurance just in case any child is hurt on their property. Or if it's in the house, they have either homeowner's insurance or they have property insurance, you know, or apartment insurance. So it kind of is, is, is kind of like not making sense. So that means like everything else costs like 20 grand or 15 grand. Only, only amount left was $3,500. That doesn't kind of make sense to me. So anyways, maybe I need to I read the book and find out. So anyways, Jackie meets, so Jackie meets up with Shawnee and they have that conversation and Shawnee stops Jackie dead in her tracks and said, Jackie, the problem I did have is like, I don't know. I did say that because I don't know the truth. There's just like, I hear what you say, hear what she say, but I really don't know who to believe. And especially that when I talked over the phone, you didn't even go see your daughter and, um, what, what, what was that? Seattle. I think it was Seattle. You didn't go see your daughter in Seattle where it rains, I believe. And she was like, you stayed on the phone with me and you was talking to me. You didn't even go see Takari or look at the grandbaby. And so then, you know, um, Shawnee was saying, I would have flew immediately. I don't care if my daughter didn't want to see me. She wanted me around. She could call the police on me. We could fight. I don't care, but I'm going to be there. And, you know, Shawnee does have a point with that. That she does have a violent point with saying what she did say. Because anybody that's out here that our mothers will do the same. But it all depends on what type of relationship you do have with your child. F first of all, and how distant it is if the person wants you there. Jackie said in her defense, there's nothing that she could have done. And you, and you guys heard this before. When people say, oh, stay at work or stay in school or stay in class or stay wherever you are. You don't have to come out here because there's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do to change the situation. But what you can do is you can be there and you can support your child and um, be there for them because, you know, a child getting burnt and in that type of situation, especially a young mother, wouldn't know how to deal with that. And that would be very catastrophic for the child to deal with and to understand unless they have support. Who knows if Jackie had people out there that could support Takari or Takari had support. Jackie said she did talk to the doctors or whatever. And probably if she talked to the doctors, she probably gave a credit card number to the doctors immediately if insurance didn't cover it because I just named a, a, a bunch of other ways that um, insurance should have covered it. But, you know, sometimes people don't have apartments apartment insurance or homeowner insurance but i don't know if the homeowner insurance will cover the exploding um bottle warmer and i don't know if you can sue the company of the bottle warmer place to get money for that situation so it's a lot of things that really don't add up for me and i could be totally wrong and you guys could tell me what's going on you could tell me what don't the reason why it's not adding up to me i would appreciate it you know because i like to know what you guys think or whatever so anyways um, so that's what, you know, uh, Shawnee said to Jackie and Jackie was like, you know, I got to make money. I got to, <laughs> she was like, I got, I got to take care of Takari and her, um, three kid. Um, I think Takari got three kids and one on the way. Well, she said, you know, my daughter's pregnant now again, and she has all these kids and I support them all and all this other stuff. And so. It's a mild excuse but it's not really an excuse it's a, if it's the truth. If you're supporting all this. Because we, we assume Jackie has a lot of money. We assume all that. But we don't know. We don't know what anybody's bank accounts look like. We don't know that. So anyways. Um, Shawnee said. And so then Jackie was like. I would rather deal with it privately. You know. I take care of my daughter financially. I do all that other stuff for my daughter. And everything like that. And so then Shawnee goes into her confessionals. And she was like. Ja and so then Jackie tells Shawnee. I don't want you. I want you to tell Evelyn. Not to keep my. Keep my, keep my daughter's name. And my daughter's situation. To carry the book. And everything out of her mouth. And let it go. Just let it go. Or whatever. And so then. You know. Shawnee goes in confessional. She goes. The problem is you Jackie. Because you're always telling us. How you. You are how, how how you financially take care of your child, how you do this, how you do that for your children and all that other good stuff. And so, you know, Shawnee was like, I mean, Shawnee was like, so the problem is really you. Maybe if you be quiet, everybody else would be quiet. That's not going to happen because everybody's storyline is based on Takari and Jackie. So what are you talking about, Shawnee? And basically you met up, you only met up with Tammy and Jackie to talk about Takari in her book. So you can bring that information 
to, you know, Evelyn. So you guys continue to talk about Takari and Jackie and her motherhood. So anyways, miss me with that bullshit. And so, you know, um, so, so then, and what, and in the midst of that, you know, um, Evelyn said later on in the episode that, bitch, you don't, bitch, you, you ain't, you here with us on vacation. You know, it's not a vacation. She's getting paid to be filming. You're getting paid to film. It's not a vacation. Maybe it's a vacation for you because you don't want to be at home with your fiance that, that sounds, um, signed two, three hundred million dollar contract. You want to be here and be petty. That's where you want to be at. <laughs> but these, these females are actually working. It's a job. <laughs> so anyways. And so. So Jack. So so that that situation moves. Moves right along. And then Shawnee. She go. Then Shawnee she goes. Um, then Shawnee also said in her confessional. That you know. Evelyn has been talking to Takari. Evelyn does get you know. Text. I, she said she did get text from Takari. I think in the other episode. So how, you know, Evelyn don't have, you know, Takari's number. And then they talk, they DM each other. And, you know, um, Shawnee says that does happen. They do talk through social media and all this other stuff. And we know. They're trying to play games like Takari don't be calling Evelyn. And, and all this other stuff. So... Anyways, Jackie, Jackie just wants, so Jackie just wants the bullshit to go away, and it's not going to go away, and it looks like the reunion is going to be very crazy. So anyways, and when they finish the conversation, Tammy says to Jack, um, Tammy, um, t Jackie says that, oh, tell Evelyn she ain't getting her $3,500 back, or whatever, and so then, that's when Tammy jumps in and say, if I was you, I'll give her that $3,500 back, I'll boss up on her, and show her, like, we don't even need your money, we never even needed your money, and Jackie was like, nah, I need a pair of shoes, I need this, I need that, she can get $0.35, cent. I, ain't giving, I ain't giving it back to her, so she get it back from Takari or whatever, because it didn't come from, to me, I think it was payment, <laughs> like, you'll be cool with me using all your name and reading your book, on TV and all that other good stuff. <laughs> That's what it kind of like seemed like. But, you know, it, it did sound like a good idea for Tam what Tammy said to Jackie. Like, boss up on her and say, we don't need your money. My kid is already taken care of. But you know what? I wouldn't want to give Evelyn $3,500 after all this other stuff that went on. And if it was supposed to be a donation, this ain't, this is the uh, donation that lagged for like years now. Like this donation has been playing out on this show for a minute for like at least six or seven episodes. So anyways, so now they finish, they're done. And so the conversation is over. And so, um, so Jackie does repeat to Evelyn to, to Sean and please tell Evelyn not to talk about my daughter, bring up my daughter name or anything like that. And so anyway, Shawnee goes and she has dinner with, you know, who Evelyn and then, you know, Shawnee let, so Evelyn, before Evelyn has dinner with Shawnee, she says that, you know, Tammy ain't been around. I don't know what Tammy's, I think Tammy is team Jackie or whatever, or she feeling some type of way and all this other stuff because, you know, um, Tammy has not been going to outings with, you know, with, with Evelyn. And so, um, Shawnee meets up with Evelyn, and so Shawnee lets, you know, Evelyn know that, hey, I talked to Jackie, Tammy set up the meeting, so that's, like, to, to Evelyn, like, okay, she's chilling with Jackie, so that confirms whatever she was thinking, and so then, basically, they talk about, you know, um, um, Shawnee tells, you know, Evelyn, don't be bringing up don't, don't, try not to, Jackie doesn't want you to communicate with her daughter, talking to her daughter on the phone, then that's when Evelyn was, was like, I don't be phone boning her, or anything like that, <laughs> and then, and, but the biggest thing is like, she needs, you know, Evelyn keeps bringing up that she hasn't seen her granddaughter, I don't be phone boning with her, or anything like that, you know, I see, I can't tell her daughter when to tweet, or when not to tweet, or whatever, and she said, <laughs> Oh my God, it's just like they just running Jackie's business like it ain't nobody's business and it's just funny to them. <laughs> and she, and so, you know, Jack, so she's like, so she's like, you know, I ain't phone boning her, her daughter, whatever. And so, you know, that, and so then, you know, 
um, Evelyn is like, I'm so surprised that I'm so surprised with Tammy. And so then you, that's when Shawnee jumps in and said, what, she's sipping the Kool-Aid? Yeah, the Kool-Aid. She's all empathetic, all forgiving and caring towards Jackie. Like, let her be. Let her be your own woman. Why she got to sit next to you and listen to you mope and complain and and throw on the on the waterworks when you get ready to talk about Takari book or read a line for Takari book. She don't want to be around that. Like let her be. Like why can't she be her own woman? This is not high school. This is not little girls. We can you can be friends and not be friends with somebody. Like let her be friends with whoever she wants to be friends with. And so anyways, you know, and Shawnee was like, yeah, she's drinking the Kool Aid. And Shawnee was like, you know, when I when Jackie confronted me and told me about the interview and all this other good stuff, um, I said, yeah, I did have a problem because I don't know who to believe. Tammy just stopped and looked and did like this towards me, and I was just like, whoa. So they're saying, oh, so Tammy's over there on Jackie's side. Like, how come Tammy can't be both of y'all friends? All three of y'all friends, why does she have to choose? Why does it have to be like that? You guys got children. Why are you acting like children? And then on top of that, it's just like it's petty that Tammy can't talk to Jackie. She can't be cool with Jackie. She can't cancel a breakfast date. She can't cancel this. Nobody wants to be around drama or hearing negativity or hearing about a book 24-7. Goodness. So anyways, um... <laughs> so they so so then they get into talking about their ex relationships why men cheat on why the what they did to the guys that cheated on them and all that other stuff and how side chicks be coming up and then they finally bring up IBM or IBF or whatever the fuck um Evelyn wants to do with the babies so then boom we get to Malaysia Ma Malaysia's out with Ma Malaysia is um meeting up with the girls for breakfast everyone's there except for jackie and tammy so malaysia goes there with you um with hazel whatever and then she then so her and evelyn gets to a conversation about jackie and so basically to talk and they're dressed for the beach the other girl's like we ain't going to no beach I'm like oh so nasty especially shawnee and shawnee was over there looking at malaysia like she better not say nothing nice or nothing right or nothing good about jackie or anything and like anything she was just it was just like Shawnee was just co-signing everything that Evelyn was saying it's like Shawnee is not neutral in the situation she been chose sides and basically to me in my opinion is they're setting up for Miami <laughs> and I don't know if Tammy's ready to do a Miami <laughs> so anyways <laughs> they even got them in Miami so anyways um so you know um, Malaysia and Evelyn kind of had like a conversation going back and forth. And so, you know, Malaysia trying to say like, Jackie's coming from forgiving place. She wants to forgive you, whatever. And can you forgive her? No, it's other stuff. Evelyn was like, I don't, I, I, I don't have to forgive nobody who forgive me for what, what does she got to forgive me for? And so she was like, you know, for what you were doing, like, you know, talking to a daughter, co you know, conversation with her daughter, texting her daughter, um, screenshotting, like when her daughter makes a tweet or something or on IG, you respond and then people screenshot it and send it to Jackie. Of course, Takari sent it to Jackie to throw it in Jackie's face <laughs> or, her, or her fans. Somebody sending it back to Jackie. So Jackie knows what's going on. Everybody knows what's going on, but Jackie just doesn't know that they got an advanced copy of the book. That's what Jackie don't know, and they reading it on this trip, highlighting it. Oh, oh, oh. And so anyways, um, Malaysia was like, so then, you know, um, Evelyn goes, you know, she's have never seen her grandchild. She hasn't been down to see him, right, Shawnee, right? And then Shawnee's like, yeah. And they got the nastiest me mugs on, basically trying to change, you know, Malaysia's attitude for her to be mean or or her not to be friends with jackie anymore and that's childish let her have her own mind as well it's like they are trying to persuade jackie and tim i mean you know malaysia and you know tammy to to totally despise jackie and all this other stuff about something that they don't know that is true or not because it's all like i said it's two sides to the story as jackie's side her daughter's side and the truth and so anyways and evelyn was like you know what um, you know, Malaysia was like, I think she's a good person. I don't think she would ever, you know, do anything like that because I don't want to believe that. So then that's when Evelyn says, you know what, you're part of the problem because you're an enabler. So you make, you're even worse. You make it worse. And she said it was such a nasty attitude. And so, you know, 
Malaysia was like, you know, I don't think highlighting the situation and talking about the situation is going to make anything better or make anything change. It doesn't do anything but make pe- make it worse. You're just highlighting the problem with no solution. Evelyn and Shawnee was like, you sound do- you sound good and you got substance right now, but we ain't hearing that because we out to get Jackie. And I don't, they want Jackie gone, son. They're done with Jackie, especially Shawnee. Shawnee's done because Shawnee has not let anybody come after Jackie like this ever. Or unless there's no storyline whatsoever. And this is the only storyline that they can, that, that is interesting, that is popping, that is getting media attention. Because OMG, it's like, this is the only storyline. We ain't talking about nothing else. See, Malaysia go there, they talk about Jackie. <laughs> and Hazel's there, whatever. So anyways... They, but it did. At least it left on a good note. It didn't leave on a bad note. They didn't argue or whatever because Malaysia wasn't trying to go there for that or whatever. And because Malaysia was just telling you know Evelyn, you know we should support Jackie, you know with love, support Jackie, whatever, help her out through this this situation. Let's support each other because they're talking about. They was talking about not the last ep, not the last episode, but the ep- episode before. Evelyn was like woman empowerment and how she don't she let things go. She's not petty. How being a motherhood is very important. Being a mother is important and supporting women is very important. And she doesn't deal with negativity. She just said this two episodes ago when she was on the panel and she's not doing she's not imitating or showing us any of that that she says so she's a liar and you shouldn't support when she's talking about women empowerment because she's only empowering her pockets and her ratings that she do want so there we go and so when you know when Malaysia said that Evelyn just laughed like, <laughs> she was like who support love what the fuck are you talking about I can't lie. That was funny. She was like, <laughs> she laughed. She bent down with her sunglasses. That that was funny. You know, I'm not going to lie. But she was like, I, it was like, Evelyn was shocked that Malaysia even asked her something like that. I can't even remember Shawnee's expression. <laughs> Shawnee just had the mean mug like this the whole time. Like she was down with right, um, Ron DMC the whole time sitting over there on the heater or some chair like this with her gray jog and soon on. Evelyn was like, what? Support? Me? <laughs> that shit was funny. <laughs> I gotta lie, that was funny. So, <laughs> so Evelyn says, um, that shit was too funny. So I guess, I, <laughs> oh God. So anyways, now we get to the dinner. OMG, so we get to the dinner. So, anyways, we get to the dinner. Malaysia's there, and, you know, um, Hazel's there. Jennifer's there. Jennifer drops the beans and let Malaysia know that, you know, they have the book, and she's been reading it and all this other stuff. And, you know, Malaysia's shocked and surprised that, oh, my God, I can't believe, you know, you got the book or whatever. And so then Jennifer tries, uh, once again, they try to get, you know, um, Malaysia to feel a certain type of way about Jackie to say, hey, you know, I had to start reading the book because when her daughter said she wrote her first suicide letter, Jen, you could, you don't care about anybody but yourself. You are so um, into you and into your situation and into yourself and just into everything, but everything and everything is you. So I can't see you even having a feeling for anybody but you know how to drop a tear in a minute you and evelyn got that got that down pack you got that tear dropping down pack shawnee don't even got the tears like that so anyways she was like i she so so she was like that's why i had to stop reading the book or whatever and so then you know um malaysia's like so you got her book already i got an advanced copy girl you want to you want a copy but no she didn't say that and so then from there, you know, and then, I, and so then Hazel was like, there's some things that I really want to talk to Jackie about because, you know, um, about the book and the situation. It's like, I just really want to address, you know, her about this, the situation with her daughter and the book and stuff. And so, you know, Malaysia was like, bitch, didn't we just go, um, um, paddling boats together? You had that whole time to talk to Jackie about the situation with her daughter, and about how, you know, you, your mom and your sister are going through the same situation when you could have told Jackie there and then when you was at the beach um, doing paddle boats, why would you wait to a dinner when everybody's around to approach Jackie if you really was coming from a, a sincere place? You're coming from a place of wanting to 
stay on this show and and making sure that Evelyn and you know Shawnee likes you. But if Jackie's gone, you're gonna be the next target girlfriend. You or your aunt. It's Tammy. So anyways, oh yeah, they went petty pedal boat and then you know Jackie did say at the table can we all go topless you know Jack at least she threw some like cool thing something that was funny could we go <laughs> but <laughs> Tammy when Evelyn said support her who me what do you I gotta support her I was like yo <laughs> so anyways so we back to the table so you know um Hansel was like so I want to talk to Jackie. That's when, you know, Malaysia's in a profession was like, you could have talked to her. Why would you want to do it in front of everybody, around everybody? Yeah, because now you got a backbone. Now, now you can stick up. Now you want to do this in front of everybody. And Jennifer was like, I want to talk to her too because I feel some type of way. Jennifer, you don't feel no way for nobody. You don't have any empathy for anybody but yourself. You are very, <laughs> you're beautiful, but you are just too much. You don't have much going on upstairs. So anyways, it was like, yeah, I feel some type of way. And so so now you got two people already com confessing that they are going to confront Jack and they already been reading her book. So basically, so basically it's like an ambush. But I would have to give Jen uh I would have to give Jen props because Jen did let, you know, Malaysia know and she know Malaysia was going to go run and tell Jackie. You know what I mean? So even if it was about even if she slipped and said it, because we knew Jen was drinking a lot. <laughs> Jen was drinking a lot. And that brings me back to when Tammy and when Tammy and Jennifer, they went shopping, whatever. It was like Evelyn was trying to get Tammy to go on to um, her side. Talking about Jackie hasn't seen her daughter. Jackie's a horrible person. Did you read the book? She hasn't flying out to see her child. How do you feel about that, Tammy? Tammy was like, I don't feel no way about that because I don't care. I don't care. I don't get into people's business like that. That's not my problem. That is personal. That is family business. So I stay out of it. So I don't feel no type of way about the situation. I'm minding my business and doing what I'm supposed to do. So now they so now they know Tammy is not going. So they know Tammy's not going to ride with them on that situation. So anyways, let's get back to the dinner. So once we get back to the dinner, you know, um, Shawnee shows up. And so did, you know, um, Evelyn show up. And so um, Jackie is walking. To, Jackie sits down. Malaysia's already there. And so, you know, um, before Jackie could sit down, Jackie was like, I got to use the bathroom. And so then, you know, Malaysia got up behind her to go with her. And so that's when, you know, Jennifer said, hey, guys, I told, you know, Malaysia about the book. And it was like, oh, you did? So that's what, you know, Malaysia's going to do. She's going to go over there and tell Jackie. So that's what Malaysia does. Malaysia tells Jackie that, hey, they read, they read, they read your daughter's book. They read Takari's book. And, um, you know, Jennifer wants to confront you. And so does Hazel. Hazel wants to confront you as well. And so I just wanted to give you a heads up to let you know or whatever. So Jack, for some reason, Jackie, had, Jackie pulled it together this whole episode where this episode made me think that she's not, <laughs> she's not as crazy as we, as I thought she was. And maybe some of it is for entertainment and maybe it is a character for this show. I could be completely wrong because they always say that people that do have, you know, some type of um, distress mentally, that sometimes they have good days and bad days. I don't know. But Jackie seemed very well put together on this episode. Like she was ready for all the fuck shit. <laughs> she had to be. What else? But she knows that if we know... If she knows all the filming that she's been doing has been about Takari and Evelyn, she had to know, like, this dinner was going to solidify the, the Takari situation. So, anyways, you know, Eve so, um, Malaysia and Jackie, they come back and sit at the table. So, uh, Jackie goes, I want to address the elephant in the room. And, um, she goes and she says, you know, my little kitty cat, I heard you had a problem on my little whatever cat to Hazel and Hazel she was, so you had something to say so Hazel was like I was only gonna come to come come from a, a person that's been through this situation before because you know my mom and my sister they both go into the situation so I was just going to start to see if there was anything that I could do or what was going on with the situation because you know you gotta fight for this you're gonna fight for that and that's what you know I really wanted to say because you know Jackie 
really <laughs> Jennifer stopped the attack from happening because Jennifer told Malaysia, Malaysia told Jackie, so Jackie got prepared. So I gotta say kudos to Jennifer for that. Even though, because when she did go out shopping, she was drunk and then a motherfucker, she drunk a whole bottle of wine. Because maybe Jennifer's probably sick of the bullshit too. She's, Jennifer's probably sick of talking about Sakari and his book. Because you know why? They're taking shine off of her. Taking shine off how beautiful she is. And what she has on and what she likes to do. Anyways. So anyways. Um, then, you know, Hazel says what she has to say. And, then, and so, um, Jackie goes, then good, good, good. Yeah, uh, just good. And so at this time of point, Jackie's feeling like someone's playing footsie with her under the table. I don't know if she was saying, you know, Evelyn was playing footsie with her under the table or was it Shawnee playing footsies with her under the table? It was one of them. I couldn't rewind it back. So anyways, um, so then after that, Jennifer didn't say anything. I don't remember Jennifer saying anything at all. And so then, um... Shawnee didn't say anything at all because Jackie was prepared for this. Everybody was quiet or they just didn't want to say and, and you know, Evelyn was like, she wasn't going to say nothing with her face like that. <laughs> I'm going to get Lisa going. She wasn't going to say nothing. She was going to pay her dust. So anyways, and so then Jackie apologized to Evelyn about her daughter and, and all that. Other, we already know Jackie's apologies. And so then, you know, Tammy was like, good, good, good. And so then Jackie gets up and she leaves. And it's like surprising. Everyone's surprised. But you know what? The production push um, or Shawnee was like, come on, let's hurry up and go outside before they leave. And so then, you know, before that happens, you know, Evelyn's sitting at the table and she was like, fuck that bitch. I don't like that bitch. Fuck her. She wants to talk about my daughter and all this other shit. She talked about my daughter in New York. She talked about my daughter here. She Not not here in Miami. She talked to my daughter. This and that. So fuck that bitch. I'm never going to forgive her. I'm never going to forgive her apology. Matter of fact, bitch, give me my $3,500 back. Give me my money back. Give me my money back. Did she say that to Jackie Face? I, I don't know. I think Jackie said you can have that 35 cents. You can have 35 cents or whatever. But she ain't getting that $3,500 back from Jackie. Shit. Jackie family gave Evelyn that whole storyline. If anything, Evelyn needs to be paying Jackie and her family for pain <laughs> and emotional distress. So anyways, Evelyn was like, I'm not going to forgive her, some bitch like that. She she ain't no good mother. She goes, I want to hang out with good women. I want to hang out with good bitches. I want to have, I want to hang out with good bitches that got something going on for themselves. Well, Evelyn, the only thing you got going for yourself is you got good pussy because you, you fuck three different guys from three different players association and you got one that got from the baseball association that got millions of dollars and he's taking care of you and you live in a lavish lifestyle or whatever. So you're good at fucking and sucking that. That's what you're known for, and that's what you're good for, and you're good at throwing bottles and popping off at bitches. That's what you are good for. That's what you stand for on these reality TV shows. And you like, <laughs> not even gonna say that. So now, anyways, <laughs> so anyways, so that's what Evelyn's saying. That's the type of woman that she wants to be around. And it's just like, come on, Evelyn, you act like you a Miss High Class, Miss High Society. You have got on top by fucking and sucking. Spreading them legs, dropping it like ego, using them lips for good stuff. So don't even go there about like like she and then you know um Evelyn starts to talk about let me give let me give Jack some motherfucking advice if she has a business or anything like that she needs to invest in turtlenecks she needs to invest in waist trainers so she's fat shaming her she's shaming her because she's old like she's going she's going all the way around and I don't know how anybody could see that this is justifiable at all so so she's talked about all that she goes and she goes I can't she goes I can't picture Jackie running a successful business just because your pussy is successful and you can't do anything outside of your successful pussy Jackie possibly got successful business she talks about her businesses I don't know what business Jackie have only thing I know is the look at that she supports I mean that we see on the show I don't know what other businesses that she has at all I don't know what business you have but I know your pussy has gotten you to where you are at today and kudos to you for that so and 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 Jackie's the only one on this show that's married and got a husband 
So anyway, so, you know, Evelyn was dissing the shit out of Jackie, talking about, like, yeah, if I was Jackie's PR person or Jackie's manager, I would tell her to invest in that shit. She'll make some money for sure. Like, Shay, it's, see, everything that's coming from Evelyn is a hateful place. If, and Evelyn was like, oh, she's ungrateful. I gave her daughter $3,500. If you really cared about um, that grandbaby of Jackie's and you really felt, it, it was really hard felt for you when you saw the pictures, you know, no one would have known that you donated the money. And right now, you wouldn't be throwing it up that she's ungrateful because it had nothing to do with Jack. It had to do with the baby and Takari. That's who you were helping. Why does it have to do with Jackie if you was your your only intent was to help Takari and that baby and not get any type of kudos or accolations for that situation? But no, it seems like that's what you wanted. And that was your storyline. And so it seems that w when you donated that money, it didn't come from a genuine place. It come from a, a place of plotting plotting storyline so you said all that and then so anyways the girls go outside so jackie had already left with tammy and with um malaysia and so the shawnee was like oh look at them i guess they all rode together they all left together <laughs> so shame <laughs> but they tried to leave but production i know production and shawnee jumped them and said hey let's get outside jackie's outside talking and she was like somebody was playing footsie with her and joking with her under the table but yet they got the mean mug and act like they don't want to be my friend and all this other stuff and so then you know shawnee heard a little bit of it or or production said hey and shawnee's mic hey jackie talking shit or whatever so then um shawnee asked jackie what she said jackie was like i didn't say anything and so then shawnee steps into malaysia face like malaysia's a child and say hey you'd like to tell things so what did she say that was a total dig but like you you didn't tell jackie that you know evelyn evelyn had the book and reading it <laughs> and so anyways um jackie said she didn't hear anything and because i because she didn't hear anything and so then shawnee turns around and asks asks tammy did you hear what she said? What did she say? And she goes, um, I didn't hear anything either. And then Jackie goes, I was mumbling. And so then, and then, and then you know, Shawnee goes, so, so won't you repeat that? Won't you repeat? And Jackie was like, I'm not repeating nothing because it ain't nothing for me to repeat. <laughs> she goes, it ain't nothing for me to repeat. I ain't repeating nothing. But I will say this. I will say this. I mind my business. <laughs> I don't get into other fo folks' business. Ain't you my friend, Shawnee? Ain't you my friend? And Shawnee's like, well, you know, when Shawnee makes her face, it's like, Shawnee was like, I don't know, I guess. And then that, that that's a dagger, Jackie. How, what do you mean you guess? So, you know, Shawnee, or, so now it's solidified to Jackie that Shawnee has totally took Evelyn's side in situations totally down and rocking with Evelyn. So if Jackie's on the show next year, I won't be surprised if Takari will be on the show or she'll be featured on the show. I won't even be surprised if they bring Takari to the reunion. OMG. And so then, you know, Jackie's yelling. I was like, I thought you're supposed to be my friend and all this other stuff. And so it's just like, I just want people to mind their business um, Tammy comes and she jumps in front of the conversation, but Jackie didn't back down for Shawnee at all. Jackie said, Jackie said whatever she had to say to Shawnee, like, yo, I don't think it's right and all this other stuff and whatever, whatever could be whatever. It's like, like Jackie's not scared and she's not backing down. So maybe the LA girls will have their own show and then the rest of the girls will move to, you know, uh, Miami, but I hope Tammy stays in LA. So we'll see what happens. Tell me your thoughts and tell me what you think. And tell me, damn, 53 minutes, peace, I'm out.